Hello YouTubers, this is Wolf359 coming to you with another control panel from Minecraft. This control panel is called Crafty. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing Crafty on TrueNAS Scale under the device apps and the Yelm area. But first off, what we're going to do is, so we've got Crafty, we're going to go... I'm going to go down to download. We're going to find the Docker. I already have everything pulled up. we got the Docker program. But first off, what we want to do, we always want to come create our data sets. So i got a data set already created right now. Uh, so i got backups, configs, imports, logs, and servers. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over. We're going to copy this jar well not jar do docker compose yml file i'm gonna come over to to our true nas man my i'm messing up on words like crazy but we're gonna come over to true nas we're gonna go to de device apps come to install i'm gonna call this crafty oh lord i had to sneeze we're gonna come over we're gonna Paste what we have. But what we're going to do is we're going to change out this right here. We're going to go mount. Uh, all right. We're going to slash mount slash test. Oh, oh. I am not with it today. Port slash test. That's my volume. I'm going to go port slash crafty. And port slash backups. And we're going to go ahead, copy this, and we're going to do it for the rest. So we're going to go from docker we're going to go control v paste that in come down one make sure uh, logs okay come over same thing one thing is is on configs i put a s at the end of configs just for the heck of it. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So we have it installed. So we have everything. So what we're looking at is our volumes. Our volumes is where we're going to be putting everything like our backups, our logs, our servers, our configs. We need the configs. So when we log in the first time for Crafty, we need to be able to pull the admin and password. So we need to get into our configs. So I'm going to save that and get it going. It's going to take it a little bit, pulling the image, pulling everything, setting it up. So once this is finished, we'll come back to it and we'll watch it start up. All right, YouTubers, we have it installed. Uh, well, I'll do a refresh so Crafty's installed it's running right now it's running but it's not installed all the way so it's getting looking out and it's going to find everything so oh, it already did so here we go it's got everything so uh, no, now I know what happened I had everything I installed Crafty before and didn't delete all the files that were in those in my Crafty deals for backups can fix but it will take time once it does this so what we're going to do I'm going to show you so we're going to go to HTTPS colon forward slash so here we go advance and here we go. 
but here's what we have to do we got to be able to find the username and password so we're going to come up in the into my file browser so files if y'all have file browser set up you know how to use it if not uh you can revert to my first video how i did minecraft the minecraft server on truenas scale with file browser so we're going to come into configs uh we're going to go into nope wrong one uh, oh, oh man i'm off today all right sh oh, here we go let me go back <laughs> It says where to go, so I'm not really reading, I'm just trying. So we're going to go apps, configs. So we want to go into the apps. Do I have everything? Okay, here we go. So, it, it was my crafty configs default credit. So, it, here's our password. And no, don't try to use it because this one will be deleted. This whole ordeal will be gone once I have everything. Once we finish this video. So, we're going to do admin and the password that it gave us. I'm going to log in. So here we go. I'm just going to exit out of this. So now we're all set up. We got Crafty installed on TrueNAS. So anybody that's using Tr Crafty out there that's like, no, you can't install it on TrueNAS. Well, uh, yes, you can. Here we go. It's installed. No problems or anything. So we're gonna do we're gonna come over to server we're gonna create our first server uh what type minecraft server vanilla yeah let's go for paper paper okay there we go we're gonna give it a name uh we'll just call it minecraft memory uh we'll give it four maximum memory we'll give it four so forth build server okay Come over here, we're importing, showing importing everything, so forth. Back up files, see? Got everything going. So we're gonna come back over to the Minecraft, we're gonna come over to terminal. We're gonna say start server. Oh, look, I'm gonna go yes. So it's gonna start downloading everything. So. Crafty is working on, mm, excuse me, it is actively working on true NAS scale. So we're going to sit here, let it go, and we're just going to let it build the server, and then we're going to hop on the Minecraft and make sure it works. If it works, it works. No problem. I'm not going to go through the steps of installing uh, plugins and everything else about everybody knows how to do that if not there's other there's oh lord sorry everybody there's videos out there that show how to do it uh, other than that if you do need some help installing that's no problem but I am going to switch my tr um, Minecraft launcher back over to 21.5 Four since it's out. Let me go check paper. I want to make sure. Uh, oop. Uh, paper and see. Because I want to update my AMP server. It's still running. Uh, yeah, they haven't updated. They're trying to get out from Spigot right now. Doing their own coding. But that's perfectly fine with me. But right now I'm going to show that we are running this Minecraft server off of TrueNAS scale as a docker container on Crafty that is running 
on Trina S. Scale, where I was told it had it wouldn't do. And move things around showing ah there we go wolf 359 has connected so we're showing that I am connected so crafty is running no problems no issues nothing uh, so we're gonna disconnect it shows we left the game see any kind of logs schedules backups, default backup, so forth, files, everything right here. Uh, last time I used Crafty, I did have problems like with plugins, installing plugins at one point. Uh, let's try, let's, let's do try a, uh, let's try like a plugin, I'll try Essentials X and all that. So I, I was running like uh, Cas Cas OS on Ubuntu and trying it that way and wasn't having any, wasn't even doing well or so. Uh, but I want, I want to try it out and see how it does, see if everything works out well. If it does, that'll be great. Uh, and it shows that everything's working properly. Okay, never mind. Uh... Okay, I gotta remember how to do this. Oh, uh, okay, okay, never mind. Uh. Dummy me, I totally forgot. I haven't used Crafty. And Lord knows how long. So here we go. We're going to go open, upload. And there we go. Uh, we're going to go back to our terminal. We're going to restart the server. Let's see if it loads up. it out. Just want to double check. So showing everything should be showing there we go. Load essentials. So here we go. go. Uh, we're going to type in plugins. I'm going to show that it really works. That we have essentials on here. There we go. Essentials. Everything that we need it for essentials. Uh, other than that, everything runs great with it. I have not seen any issues for the time right now. I installed the, the files that I want. The file I want it pretty darn quick compared uh, I haven't messed with much of anything adding like the opt-in or so. Uh, yeah, I think I can do any kind of command. So I just made myself a server admin right now. So everything, everything's working great. Uh, I can just say it, it, it's running. There's been no problems or anything, but I'll do a couple more tests, see how much. I really don't have much memory RAM or anything running right now. The one thing we do not, you do need to do is when you do set up Crafty, if you do it this way, is do always, always 
change your password. Edit your user. Give it a new password. So much. So forth. Uh, yeah. Let me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to do a new password soon. I'll do some tests more. Keep, keep the tests going. Uh, you can add other users. So uh, we can add a new user. So let's see, add new user password and username. Uh, you give it roles, so forth kind of permissions you want that user to have. You want to have trolls, stop servers, so forth, so forth. But yes, we gave it pretty much close to 4 gigs. We're not really using much. It's showing how server memory, so forth. Uh, yeah, I'm not giving a lot of gigs. But right now, it, it's running one server. Well, it shouldn't be showing anybody online. Uh, it's showing max players 20. Only if it's showing servers, one server. Okay, one server online. So, we can do that. Uh, let's see what it shows when we stop the server. Dashboard. See if it updates. Yeah one offline so yeah we can see how how much it does uh, it might might be a good one for proxy I know my amps good on proxy servers but uh, it's not bad uh, I think installing crafty on TrueNAS scale wasn't bad at all uh, just a lot of no needing the know-how and all that uh, it just took me some time learning and figuring it all out. I uh, will be doing more updates on anything. I don't have Minecraft on here no more. I, this, this is just my test server right here that I'm doing, so I'm testing Crafty. So I'll keep up to date how Crafty's doing on here. Uh, if anybody does use crafty and is on the discord for crafty and wants to bring it up to them about hey i've seen a guy that's installed crafty on true nas scale yes i asked that question if i could they said it would be buggy but i could try but right now i haven't seen no bugs or anything it works fine no problem but uh other than that y'all have a great day this is wolf 359 signing out